Hello people, I am Sky Demolisher and welcome to this video of assembling the Halo Universe series Wave 2 Imperial Grunt. Um, so in order to do this you need to have all six figures from this particular wave which are Master Chief, Spartan Vale, Spartan Buck, uh, Jerome 092, uh, Atriox and Arbiter Thalvadarm. So, I have previously done the videos for each one of those figures and showed you which ones uh, came with which grunt parts. But if you don't, don't watch those and you haven't seen it before, this is what the figure comes like. Um, so, each figure comes with so many parts and then you need to assemble it from there. So, as you can see, we've got legs, arms... Uh, a needle rifle, you know, needler, um, the main torso, the backpack, uh, the lower hip area, and of course, his head. So, um, I think the first and easiest part would probably be to just slot the head in, so you can see the little hole there, and that's that part. Okay. And then the next bit, I think, would be to assemble the backpack, I think. So the backpack should be pointing up that way. Um, once you've got it sort of lined up, they'll just click into place here anyway. So it doesn't matter so much. Um, yeah, obviously, figure out which arm is which arm. So this is the right arm. Um, you just slot that in. Take a little bit of pressure to, to get them into the actual slots. Um, but this is articulated like the other figures. So this is the, is it the left arm. You'll hear it click and then you know. So now he sort of looks like one of those 80s um, floating monsters. Uh, or I suppose, what is it, Geodude? from uh, Pokemon. Um, so that is the lower part. Now, um, this bit is probably the only bit I'm not so sure about. Um, obviously it's the lower torso of him. Um, and the pictures are kind of ambiguous. So, I would say that because that looks, this this sounds so wrong, this looks more like a posterior and it looks like abs up here, I would say this is actually the front, so for this one just need to slot it into that little bit there. Um, now with the legs, I would say that is the left leg, um, is that right? No, sorry, right leg. Right, left, it's very hard to tell direction when you're looking at something oddly. Um, and then have to compare them to your own body. Uh, I say that purely because there's a ridge here at that knee area. So I figured that that's probably where it connects to the outside. And it looks like I was correct. And then of course you just take the other leg, slot that into the hole. Apply a little bit of pressure until you feel it click. And there is your Imperial Grunt. Now, the other figures did come with like little pegs that you can slot in. Um, so this guy doesn't really appear to have any of those peg holes other than there um, in his hand. So you might need to chuck one in just to help him balance it a bit better or something like that. But otherwise, you know... Um, he might be able to hold it, but I'm not entirely sure of that. I would say so. Um, I would say it's just a matter of getting the right amount of pressure to get those fingers in um, and around it. That's what he looks like. Uh, it didn't take very long to build, obviously. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed that. 
Uh, please like and subscribe. Maybe share it with your friends if you think it's something they'd be interested in. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.